Hey, it's JP with Retronyms, and welcome back to IMPC Prolog. Here we take a look at the latest features in development for IMPC Pro. And today, uh, I'm happy to say that version 1.3 of IMPC Pro is available now. This is a free update. Uh, it includes a few fixes. For example, the latest feed in the Cloud Seeder uh, community should now be working, I'm happy to say. Um, also, it'll fix a crash on launch that uh, might start happening due to some changes to the SoundCloud API. But feature-wise, it adds some really cool stuff uh, that we have been showing in a few other videos. So if you look at the other prologues, uh, the last few, uh, you'll have seen us showing some slice loop and time stretching demos. Also some improvements to the audio copy workflow. I'll show some more of it now. This is more of like maybe how it, it can affect uh, the workflow. So it's kind of a idea of how you can use this stuff, how it fits in. First of all, the, the audio paste stuff is, is kind of a big deal to me. I think it's a big improvement to how audio paste works. So, so a couple just examples of that. Basically, um, here on the program uh, editor, I can audio paste as always, um, brings up a bigger window now, and I can just go in and uh, grab a sound. So obviously if I paste a sound, one difference is it doesn't paste it onto the pad. It takes you to where in the file system the sound's pasted to. So they all go into the pasted audio bank and you'll see I just pasted my recording. So now my recordings folder and there it is. And you drag it to the pad as normal. So there's not two ways to get sounds onto pads now, whether you paste it to a pad uh, um, or drag it onto a pad. You're always dragging sounds onto pads here um, and, it, and it just pastes it to your library basically. So I wanted to point out that difference because it's, it's a change, but uh, it has to do with the fact that now we can paste entire folders. So this is a big, big improvement. And actually, the best place to show it is here in the program table. Um, so uh, the, the audio paste button has been added here, and you can now paste like basically entire programs in. So um, check this out. If we hop over to the store. Yeah, the one that's playing now, this is this, is this kind of popular pack, Trap City. And uh, it's pretty cool. So anyway, in the store, obviously, if you haven't checked it out, you'll find a ton of sound packs. And these are royalty-free one-shot samples and loops um, from Akai Professional and Loop Masters. Uh, so that, that Trap City pack, I actually have it. So it's, it's here. I've downloaded it. Um, so you can see a bunch of different sounds and that kind of stuff in here. So I'm going to hop back over to IMC Pro and show this. So in the program menu, if I choose Audio Paste here, window pulls up and uh, I'll go find Trap City and obviously I can dive into the folders and paste sounds but if you check it out down at the bottom paste all so I've got 141 sounds here that I can paste and it's just gonna create some programs automatically for me so so it's kind of a great way to start start playing with the sound I'm just gonna paste it all Okay, so I've just pasted uh, 141 sounds straight in. Um, they're all in the library now. And it also created two new programs here. Uh, and it basically just flushed these out. So, um, so these will both have basically all four banks full. So some of these are, are one-shot sounds and um, some are loops. Uh, and, and the cool thing is all the content in the content store is uh, sliced, uh, pre-sliced. So it's all time stretchable in here. So if we find one, uh, let's see here. As you can hear, I'm, I'm changing the tempo and the loop uh, that we're playing with here uh, is matching the tempo. Okay, so, um, and you can also have fun playing with the, uh, the pitch of this. I think we've shown this, but if we hop into 16 levels, for example. You can play with pitch and the, the tempo is staying the same, so it's all locked in. Uh, so that's, that's pretty fun. Um, 
But I also want to uh, show a tip here that I like to use. Uh, basically, um, let's see if we find another another one here. I think there's one in this. So that's pretty cool. So we can take a look. Like I say, they're all loop sliced. So you can get loops from the store here, but you can also import your own. Uh, it supports acidized wave. Uh, and of course, you can also create your own samples and slice them here by adding your own slice markers. Uh, and I showed that in a previous video. Uh, you can take a look. But basically, uh, if you mark the beats or the kind of transients, as we call them, like in, in this loop, um, it can play it as a loop at any tempo. So uh, you can create your own. They're pre-sliced from the store. And one thing I like to do is grab one of these loops and tab back to chop to pads. And now I've got a bunch of chops. Okay, so I've got some chops. Uh, when you chop into pads, always remember to double check the track because it's gonna assign those chops to the pads in, in a track. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on track two, hit done, and now I've got a bunch of chops here. I'm gonna put all of these in a mute group so they override each other, choke each other. Okay, cool. So maybe I'll throw some distortion on this. That sounds pretty, pretty mean. <laughs> I've got a bit of a beat here. All right, so you can have a lot of fun by playing with loops, uh, pitching loops around, do they sync right to your tempo? Make your own loops, slice your own loops from samples. Um, again, check out the previous video showing that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, make sure to subscribe to Akai Pro and Retronyms. And I hope to see you guys next time on uh, IMC Prologue. Thanks a lot.